see it. You can go to the presentation mode. Yes. Excellent. Yeah, please go ahead. Thank you, sir. So thank you, uh, Vivek, and uh, all the presenters. And uh, today, I understand, you know, being a last speaker, uh, you know, I'm trying to engage uh, all the audience and uh, giving our best in service to talk, but I'll uh, definitely try to do my best. And uh, Vidya and Vikram and Vivek and I'm Vijendra, all four V's from Amway, we are trying to cover the entire product life cycle from formulations, process development, and uh, I know quality of supplements. And then today I'll be talking about just a minute, I think. Okay. So I'll be talking today. I'll be talking about Amway's botanical uh, traceability and sustainability. So before that, let me introduce quickly myself. I'm Vijendra Kumar, uh, looking after botanical sciences division for Amway Global Services India Private Limited. Uh, uh, Dolly, just want to check with you: Is my header is covered by? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Is it visible clearly? No, actually the top line is covered, sir, with the thing, the information of the Zoom. Okay, how to uh, take it off, um, just thinking. Vijendra, you can write that down. Okay. Hold and drag it. Yep. Just a minute. Oh, thank you. That's okay. So, um, now if I want to talk about a traceability, so what is traceability and how to define uh, traceability? And before that, who doesn't want traceable products? I'm sure many of us, when we take a bottle of supplements in our hand, the first question comes to our mind, what are all the ingredients which have been used in this formula? And specifically, the functional botanical ingredient, where does it come from? And what is the purity, safety and efficacy of this ingredient? because these three, these three things are centered around the product benefits, right? Let me just define in simple way, what is traceability? So traceability is knowing where your products come from and how they are made along every step of their journey. So, my slides are not moving. Okay, so now if I, Already, Dr. Vidya, uh, in her formulation presentation, she covered the nine-step process. But still, I also try to want to reiterate the importance of these nine steps because here, every step of this nine-step process, we do maintain the traceability by documenting by you know, initially from the selection of the right seeds until the product reach consumer's hand because that is where we are defining the traceability. And did you all know one interesting fact about Amway? This traceability effort is not only limited to our Nutrilite nutrition products. It also carry over to our beauty brand Artistry. Every product in Artistry skin nutrition line includes Nutrilite grown botanicals. So let me uh, talk about a little bit about sustainability because nowadays sustainability the end customers and everyone across the globe thinks about sustainability anything we do we always focus on sustainability right so then how do we define sustainability i tried my best to uh, take the and take and bring the simple definition for sustainability sustainability is healthy balance between economic growth environmental care and social well-being with that let me take the liberty to connect Amway's vision of helping people live better, healthier lives. Because our vision also is based on how we make our planet better, healthier. That is how the sustainability is you know, integrated with our every activity and actions we do at Amway. And again, I want to just say one more interesting fact about Amway's. Amway owns 6,000 acres of certified organic farms to grow botanicals which are used in Nutrilite products. Mm -hmm. And sustainable farming practices are being carried out every day at our farms. Mm -hmm. 
if i just talk about where all, where and all across the globe these farms are located i would say we have our farms of this 6000 acres are spread across us brazil and mexico so now if i talk about after understanding and defining the traceability and sustainability what exactly amway does to ensure this traceability and sustainability of our products right so definitely with this simple slide and the given time of 10 minutes i cannot able to cover everything but still i'll try my level best to cover few of the areas let me talk about the first point and this philosophy of c2 supplement because the c2 supplement concept is for many years we have been following at amway so here again if i talk about the ninth step we control everything from selecting the quality of seeds till the product reaches the consumer hands by documenting and following all the quality activities and quality functions selection of botanical standardizations and you no know, quantifying the markers and then manufacturing the product until the product reaches the consumer hands right and then when it comes to the practice of best of nature and best of science what exactly it means by you by leveraging the advanced science and technology we try to harvest the best thing from nature very meaningfully by not impacting our environment then when it comes to sustain, sustainable farming practices yes we always ensure and integrate this whole stuff of sustainable farming practices in our farming activities if i just name few we always follow the crop rotations by using cover crops and using always green manure vermi compost and by not using any chemical fertilizers and also by not using any pesticides so there are many things such good thing process which we integrated in our agronomy practices in our farms and finally when it comes to product design to reduce waste each and every ingredient we choose while designing our product which will have less impact on environment and also when it comes to selecting our packaging material we are very careful how this packaging materials can be biodegradable and also this can be reused and i don't want to miss keep giving the interesting facts so if i cover one more interesting fact to ensure are uh, the kind of sustainable farming practices which we follow on our own neutralized farms we wanted to follow we wanted to ensure the same similar standards which have been followed on third party farms where we source some botanical ingredients for that we have designed our agricultural standard practices it is named as nutricert if i just elaborate nutricert it is like a nutrilite or nutrilite certification program which is exclusive to amway so me just i want to give a glimpse of how we ensure the traceability and the sustainability i just i just have a small video let me play it Imagine a world where plants have fingerprints and where a group of scientists have fingerprinted over 1300 of the world's botanicals to discover their health benefits and where every seed is given a unique birth certificate to track its life from seed to supplement. Imagine a group of scientists who search the globe for the best farms on every continent except Antarctica. Imagine a farm where nature is used to help nature and where natural pest control is the job of falcons like copper. and where farmers understand their plants so well that they know the precise moment to harvest to optimize their nutrients imagine a supplement company that uses every part of every plant extracting essential phytonutrients for your benefit and using the rest of the plant to revitalize the soil on its farms Imagine a team of engineers so obsessed with product excellence that they run more than 500,000 quality checks a year on their supplements. Or a team of packaging engineers who run more than 30,000 tests in extreme conditions to ensure that your supplements will remain pure, safe, and effective from our door to yours. Imagine a life colored with the power of phytonutrients, nurtured every step. 
step of the way. Because at Neutralite, we believe to get truly traceable supplements, you need to go behind the label. These are the real people that bring to life a world you don't have to imagine. This is the real world of Neutralite traceability. Thank you for watching uh, our traceability video. So now, as I just mentioned about the Nutrisert uh, program, which is exclusive for Amway. Yes, Nutrisert is our exclusive agriculture certification program to ensure partner farms meet the similar standards which we follow on our Nutrilite farms. But how do we execute it? Even though the standard is ours, which we built upon the kind of experience which we generated on our own forms and build a standard but we cannot do it on our own we have to engage the third party certification partner who will execute our standards on third party forms by evaluating the forms against the standard compliance so this is very important for us to build the credibility uh, Mr. Vijayendra yes, we are running out of time Sure, sure, sure. Just, I just uh, make it fast. So, if I just uh, talk about, uh, there are three pillars on which the Nutrisert program has been built. The first one is traceability. No, again, the traceability is where we are tracking back the agricultural farm locations where we are sourcing these botanicals and we are documenting every step of the process. Similarly, when it comes to social responsibility, this is very important uh, pillar for us because as we know in POP in India, they talk more on traceability and ecological sustainability and in addition to that, in our internal standard, we wanted to highlight the social responsibility. Here, we ensure form of a safety and developmental opportunities by giving them all the access, by ensuring that all the access have been given on basic uh, access to all the, you know, minimum minimum uh, healthcare facility by providing the personal protectives and the form, you know, their safety on the form side. So these are the, some of the few things I'm just covering here because of the time. And also we help them, you know, working with the community outreach programs. And when it comes to ecological sustainability, yes, we do take care of farm site environment, which is very basic and critical requirement. And we always ensure that the balance to farm site environment is also very important for the healthy plant of our interested one. And then ecological vital operations for ensuring the biodiversity. So these are all the three major pillars on which our nutrition program is built upon. And if I talk about how our third party auditor when he is going to form and evaluates the form on against the nutrition standards he will always assess the form against the established standard checklist basis which he'll assign okay this form has got this basic requirement let me assign the bronze because bronze is the lower side in the entire three levels of certifications and then silver will be in the middle and gold will be on the top side because if i just say one difference is that bronze will be always 100 percent traceable that is the minimum expectations but silver yes along with the 100 percent traceability there will be a organic systems and practices being followed but they may not be certified by third party uh, certification pro uh, uh, provider like uh, like there are a lot of certification bodies in India under RAPIDA, NPOP. So if they don't have any certification, but still they have a minimum documents to prove that they're following organic, or organic practices, you can always assign them silver. Gold is the very ultimate and the high level one, which will meet the bronze and silver. So these are the different certification process we follow to evaluate the forms. And then uh, this is the quick recap uh, of whatever I just explained. And thank you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Mr. Vijendra. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dolly. Sir, can we take two yeah, questions? Yeah, yeah. Please uh, go ahead with the questions. Yeah. So, first question is for Mr. Vivek. Uh, Vijendra, sir, you can stop sharing the screen. I'm just thinking. Uh, oh, sorry. One second. I'll do that. Stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. So the first question is for Mr. Vivek, sir, that you had mentioned that dietary supplements are normally in the form of tablet, capsules, gummies, etc. Isn't it more interesting to fortify the food items that are consumed normally every day 
but that it is more acceptable and does not give a feeling that we are taking some medicines uh yeah actually yes this can be done but then there's a separate uh, regulation on uh, fortified food uh which was published by fssi and the main reason for this is that uh, like uh, during uh, one presentation it was being discussed that uh, when we because when we make our conventional food at home <coughs> uh then there's a possibility of degradation because we do not know how to treat these micronutrients per se there is this one requirement that oil edible oil should be fortified by uh, vitamin a and d now scientifically we know that uh, vitamin d at a temperature more than 40 degrees centigrade would start degrading similarly vitamin a is also light sensitive and it will not sustain there so if i keep fortifying vitamin a and vitamin d in oil and if i keep uh, frying samosas there then i cannot ensure that uh, the vitamin a and d will be uh, given to the consumer therefore uh, that can be one option fortified food can be one option but it cannot uh, replace dietary supplement and that's how the dietary supplement has its own unicorn position there okay uh, tolly yeah you you can ask one question to vijendra yeah yeah and and we can go to panel uh, discussion oh, <laughs> sorry okay. about this but uh, some of the panel members have to leave so we have to start the panel discussion immediately Okay. Uh, yeah, Dolly, please. Yeah. So, Mr. Vijendra, we have a question for you that are nutrient products in India organic? Uh, actually, our products are not. Uh, I mean, are not organic. But we always ensure that the ingredient botanicals which we use in our products are from organic source. Okay. So we have uh, more four more uh, four uh, more questions for you too, sir. But then looking at the time, we will move ahead to the panel discussion, and the pending questions will be sent to you. Uh, Doctor Pai, can we move ahead yeah. for the panel discussion? Yes, yes, please. Okay, 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 sir. So I think uh, Doctor uh, Sashi Karan is here. Yeah. Welcome, Doctor Sashi Karan. We are very happy that you are joining us. Uh, we are having a lot of excellent presentations. you must have heard some of them uh, so let us move on to the panel discussion yeah dolly please uh, yeah. introduce yeah, so we uh, now now move to the panel discussion and would like to invite the moderator and the panelist dr sachi karan is a former nin uh, director of icmr hyderabad chairman of the scientific advisory committee of pf india 